Hi, boys and girls. Okay. So we have some new vocabulary that I want to go over. And um, first one, laws. Laws. What would a law be? A law is something that is a rule that we follow. Like one of the rules that is a law is that we have to wear a seatbelt when we're in the car. Even when you're in the back seat, you're supposed to have a seatbelt on, even adults. Every person has to have a seatbelt on. That is a law. And little kids are supposed to be in a, a car seat or a booster seat up to a certain weight. Okay? So it's the law. We don't have a choice. Yeah, we could get a huge ticket and end up in jail. So you got to follow the laws. These are rules. Now, at school, we have rules too. They're not laws, but they're rules. Another word is different. Different. Oh, let's go back to laws. I forgot. Let's count count the syllables. Laws. One syllable. Can you make a rhyming word? Law, fall, saw, daw, paw. Those are rhyming words because we're just changing the beginning sound over here. We're taking that L off putting another letter there. Okay, good job. Okay, now the next word is different. Different. That means something that's not the same. Now, I tried to draw a kitty cat and a puppy dog because they are different. They're not the same, are they? No, they're different animals. Okay, so different. People are different. We like different things, and that's okay. Cars are different. Yeah. My husband has a truck. I have a different car. I don't have a truck. Okay. So, word is president. President. That is the person who is the leader of our country. So, for the country, I drew our flag. And for the leader, I drew a person that could be a man or a woman. Now, in our school, the person who is the leader over everybody is our principal. Now, if you're in my classroom, in the classroom, each teacher is the leader in their classroom. Okay. Now, at your house, who are the leaders? Maybe it's mom and dad. In, when you're at grandma and grandpa's house, it's grandma and grandpa. When they're not there, if mom and dad are not there, then who is the leader? Who's the one in charge? Maybe older brother, older sister. Okay. So there's like a leader, the one in charge, the one who kind of helps get everything going and do things. In our country, it's the president. Now we got a new president yesterday. Do you remember his name? Mr. Joe Biden, President Biden, and his wife's name is Dr. Jill Biden. Yeah, that's right, Dr. Jill. I was like, did I say Joe? No, Jill. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So that's our new president. Um, office. Uh, I didn't clap the word. I forgot to clap. Different. Here we go. Different. How many syllables? Two. Now. Yeah. Take off the D instead of d different, we could say different, uh, different, different, pretend word. Okay, do president. Let's clap president. President. You do it. President. How many syllables? Three. Okay, let's think of a rhyming word president, 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 president. President, uh, Dresident. I'm making up pretend words. That's okay. What about President and Book? Did those rhyme? No, they don't have the same ending sound. President, Book. They don't sound the same. President, Tresident. Yes. Okay. Next one. Office, office. It's a place. Or a building or a room where people work. 
And I tried to draw a table with a chair and a computer and a girl is sitting at in the chair at the desk. Okay. And the wire is coming from behind the computer to plug into the wall. Okay. So an office, since lots of people have had to um, start working from home, your office could be a place that you set up um, at home. Maybe someone works from home at the kitchen kitchen counter or at a little desk in your room. Maybe you have like your little office, your little school school area. Okay. So let's take the word office. Let's clap it out. Office. How many syllables? Two. You do it. Office. Good job. You counted the syllables. Now, let's think about a rhyming word. Office, moffice. Does that rhyme? Yeah. What about office and door? No, that doesn't rhyme. Door. Door. Office. Do they sound the same at the end? No. Okay. Next word. Voted. To vote means to choose something or someone that you prefer. Now, when we chose a president, there were two people and we voted which one we wanted. That's voting. Now, it could just be people vote as in what color they like best. Uh, it looks red on there. It's supposed to be pink. Um, so like pink or red or green. So you can vote which one you like better. That's voting. You let um, whatever you like, whatever you want, that person or that color, you vote. Okay? Vote. Now, now this says voted. That means if it has an ED at it, at the end, that means it already happened. So let's take the word vote. Clap. Vote. One syllable. Um, vote, what's a rhyming word? Vote, coat, coat, note, float. Okay, they have the same ending sound. What about vote and cat? Vote, cat. Uh, that's kind of tricky because they do have the same ending sound, but they don't sound the same, do they? They have to have the same sound to the word. Vote. Coat, the word sounds the same. Okay, we're just changing the beginning letter. Um, okay, so that is it. Good job. Now listen to the story because I have a story coming up. I'm reading to you. Um, watch the video, and then at the end of that video is where I'll show you what your homework page is. Okay, guys? Okay, make it a great day. Bye.